Welcome to the small town of Hollyville. My name is Lainey, and I'm here to show you the ropes. Looking around is pretty easy. You can use the right mouse or the keyboard's cursor or W, A, S, and D keys. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the R and F keys. In front of you, there is a small grid upon which you can place buildings. Those buildings are determined by a series of cards. Let's draw some now and get started. That will do nicely. At the top here is the next card in your build list. It's a school, pretty useful. On the card is a small three by three grid with a building icon in the middle. This displays the building's effect on its adjacent tiles. Blue squares represent plus one point. So the school will give plus one points to the tiles immediately adjacent to it. With a card selected, you can now place it. Notice how the blue highlights represent the area effect as displayed on the card. Let's put the school here. You'll notice there are now some plus score markers on the empty tiles that were affected by the school. If we place point collecting buildings on those positive scoring tiles, we'll get points. It just so happens the next card in your build list is a house. Notice how it tells you on the card if the building collects points or not. So let's get some points. Great. We now have one point due to the combination of the school's area effect. We have a target to reach for each column. Currently, that target is two. You can see your current target right here in the top right. In order to fulfill that target for each column, we need to use a combination of buildings that affect their surroundings. Next up, we have a car wash. This card also has some red squares, which means it will have a negative effect on those tiles. But crucially, it has positive effects in the places we need right now. Select and place the car wash so that our house is given another point. We now have two points in the first column thanks to our house, school, and car wash. Also notice how the red negative area effect from the car wash cancelled out one of the points from the school. Now the first column is complete. Look what happens. See that? The column has been cleared. That means you bank the points from that column, which are then multiplied and added. It also means you get a new empty column to build in here on the right. The immediate aim of the game is always to clear the first column, but you'll have to plan ahead with your building placements in order to do that for future columns. Those are the basics, but let me show you what happens if you forget to place a point collecting building in a column. Fill this column with the following non point collecting buildings. If any building area effects spill off the side of the grid, they will have no effect. You can use this to your advantage sometimes. Now we have no point collecting buildings in this column. This will likely happen to you sometimes, but just to be clear, it's something you want to try and avoid. And not just because we have a brewery and factory next to a school. With no means of collecting points, this column cannot reach its target. Therefore, it's just going to sit there while we fill up the rest of the empty land. We need to force clear it. Once the first column is filled, you'll notice this little button flashing at you. All we have to do is click it to force clear. Great! However, force clearing isn't free, it costs you one life. You can see how many lives you have left here. Make sure you use your lives sparingly. Once you run out, you'll fail the level. Now see if you can complete past this column here using the next batch of buildings.
Welcome to the small town of Hollyville. Looking around is pretty easy. You can use the right mouse or you can all in those that at the top on the clue. With a card selected, you can now place it. Notice how let's put the You'll notice there are now if we notice so Great! We now have a current in order next this cook select We now have two points in the first also now the See that? It also the if those are filled if it Now we have no point collect and with there once all we Great. However, force clear you can make sure you use your live spin. Looks like you're ready for the next challenge. Since you did such a good job at Hollyville, well, apart from the whole school factory i've hired you to develop in the county of luther field you know what to do just a few small differences this time you now have two times as many build slots you can now choose your next building oh the excitement us government i've also thrown some new buildings into the mix this is a green yes the card is yellow get used to it it's all you have to do with a green is place it where you want as normal some blue icons will then appear to show you where you can apply the card's buff. Just select where you want to apply the buff. Easy! If you decide to cancel the placement after you have clicked, you can do... If you ever get confused, you need to develop the land without running out of lives. This bar here shows you how one more thing. The column target is now set at three. I'm going back to City Hall. I've got so much paperwork to do with the coming elect.
Clint.